about time. What's going on? Yo. Rumor Report. Rumor Report. This is the Rumor Report. Talk to him. With Angela Yee on The Breakfast Club. Well, Black Girls Rock is coming soon. It's going to go down on August 25th. That's when they're taping in New Jersey at uh, NJ Pack, And it will be premiering on September 8th on BET. And this year, Niecy Nash is hosting. I think she'll do a great job as a host for Black Girls Rock. She posted on her social media page. So this happened at Black Girls Rock, and I'm so excited to celebrate our magic. So congratulations. I know I'll be watching. All right. Now, Barack Obama, his high school basketball jersey went up for auction. It went up for auction in Dallas over the weekend. And the person who won paid $120,000. For what? For the jersey. Why? It's Barack Obama's. Man, I need to see what his stats were before I go nah, buy his damn jersey. he was the president, jersey. man. I don't give a damn what he was. He wasn't the president in high school. He might have been the most trash-ass player on the team. You might no. hear some stories about how garbage he was on it's the court. It's still a good jersey man, to have, man. Well, that jersey's from back in 1979. What the hell is Puna who? It's Hawaii. That's Hawaii. Oh, no, nah, he was balling in Hawaii then. Hawaii Only black man in Hawaii. <laughs> he, he averaged 35. It was 35. Honolulu. <laughs> now, what happened was... Oh, yeah. He was washing all them, too. <laughs> you see that picture? He was averaging 37 and 12. Easily. Easily. Now, what happened was one of his uh, fellow classmates, Peter Noble, he was three years Obama's junior. He came after Obama. And he wore the same number, number 23, as a member of the JV team. And so he had kept that jersey, and he didn't even realize it was Obama's jersey until... Barack Obama was elected president. So it ain't really Barack's jersey. Barack gave it to his him, and now he had it for like four or five years. Now he's selling it as Barack's jersey? Well, he just had the same number, so he kept the jersey, I guess, because he also was number 23 when he played J- JV. So we don't even know if that's really Barack's jersey. I mean, it is Barack's jersey, but they he just wearing 23. it's never been retired, so it's really just... That's how you know Barack was trash, by the way. If he was dope in high school, they'd have retired that Definitely jersey. retired his jersey by yes. now. All right, now let's talk about last names. Eva Marcel, she talked about why she decided to change her daughter Marley's last name. Previously, Marley had her dad's name, Kevin McCall's last name, but she said she decided to change it to her husband's last name. Marley was born um, in 2014, and I gave her her biological father's name. And um, after two months, you know, we became estranged, and I raised her as a single mom. And then the good Lord saw fit for me to meet an amazing man, Michael Sterling, who has become my husband and the father of my later children. And so, long story short, we all have the name Sterling, and Marley is the only one with her um, biological father's name. And, you know, I saw it necessary and Mike saw it necessary to change her name. Well, there you have it. So for people wondering why she decided to change Marley's last name to Sterling, that's why now they all have the same last name. I I wouldn't like that if I was the uh, biological father of that child and I was actually in my child's life. Like I was a father that was very present. I wouldn't want her changing the name to her now husband's. Right. Last name. Her explanation makes sense, though. She doesn't want her daughter. She raised her daughter as a single mom, and then she didn't want her to feel left out because the other kids have the same last name, and she'll be the only one without that last name. Yeah, that's why I said if I was present in my child's yeah, life, I, I, I don't know too. what the situation is with the biological father. All right. Well, speaking of dads, Logic is about to be a father. He put out a freestyle called No Pressure, and he talked about his negative feelings towards the music industry in that freestyle. But then at the very end, he made an announcement. And I'm having a little baby. Surprise, it's a little baby boy. Mm. TMZ, they can't get the scoop on that. Welcome, little Bobby, to the world one time. Okay, well, congratulations to him. I'm yes. still trying to figure out what Barack Obama averaged in high school. How are you going to, are you doing research? I'm Googling, I can't see it nowhere. That's how I know he was trash. All right, and it looks like Apple, for their budget for original content for Apple TV+, Plus. originally they had about $1 billion allocated for original content. Mm-hmm. Now they have committed around $6 billion for that, and that's all for their original content plans for Apple TV+. Plus. In comparison, Netflix is spending $15 billion on content in 2019. Disney is committing $1 billion in 2020 for their streaming service, which launches November 12th. And they expect for that number to increase to the mid two billions by 2024. They're just throwing them numbers around like it's nothing, huh? That's a lot of money. It is. All right. Well, I'm Angela Yee, and that is your rumor report. I said if he got 10 points a game, most of them were probably under the basket. He didn't hit jump shots from 15 feet or anything like that. He was a good defender, definitely a good athlete. 
Well, that jersey went for 120000 for Barack Obama. No, that's because of what he did in the White House, not what he did on the basketball court. Well, yeah, clearly. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Where did you get them stats for? That had to be, what, 50 years ago, 40 years ago? Donald Trump wrote it. Probably. Mm-mm. Definitely probably. This, this is on uh, ForTheWin.com. <laughs> it's an article uh, that this is from one of his former teammates and basketball coach. So he wasn't that nice? Nah. Damn. All right, well, front page. But he did win a state championship in 79. So he was nice. He had to be nice. And I thought, no, just because he was on the team that won the championship don't mean he was doing He wasn't the best player on the team? I don't think so. <laughs> he was like six <laughs> You're just saying that. You don't even know. He was the tallest so. person on the How team. How do you even know it if he was? It don't seem like it. If he had the type of stats. Look at that picture. He's the tallest person on the team. There's no way he wasn't you dunking the on the game. You found the number? Oh. There's no way he oh, wasn't yeah, dunking that's what on the I'm looking at right now. Yeah, There's yeah, no yeah. way he wasn't dunking on the He also kind of looks like maybe he's the only black person on the team. I don't know. I mean, that's why I gave him the benefit of the doubt. Okay. No.